In this demonstration, we're going to use Visual Builder Studio from inside Fusion App to pick specific changes that we want to roll out into a release. So we're going into Visual Builder Studio and into the project for our extension. In our previous video, you've seen that we created various changes in various branches and created merge requests for each one of those. So over here we have three of those. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually approve and merge a couple of those merge requests. So you can see here we're targeting the main branch and we have three files that were changed in this uh, specific merge request. So we're going to approve this and you can give some comments here. And once we got the approval, we can click merge and merge it into our main branch. We're going to use the squash and merge option over here. You can also, by the way, mark the delete branch if you want to. We'll hit the squash and merge to take the changes from our branch and bring them into the main branch. We're going to repeat this for this merge request as well. So this is another merge request. It deals with some other files and other changes we implemented in Fusion Apps, other customization. And again, targeting main, we're going to click approve, provide a comment, and then click merge. Once more, we're going to choose the squash option. By the way, you can check the remember my choice if you're always using that, and then do the merge. So this allows us to choose which changes are going into the main branch. If we go to the main branch and look at the logs now, we're going to see this is the text version. We can also look at it in the diagram version. You can see the two changes that we did are listed over here, and we can see which change was applied to main when. Now, if we want to deploy a version that only has some of those changes, we're going to start from this version before those changes, and we're going to copy this to the clipboard, go to the refs area, and we're going to create a branch from this version. Okay. We're going to call this one the release branch, for example. And this is going to have the status of the code before those two changes got applied to it. Okay, so if we go in here, this is the current status. It's before those changes were applied. If we now want to choose one of those changes and only apply them, we can go into the merged requests, pick the change that we want, for example, this option over here, and click the reapply change. Now we're going to deploy the same changes into the release branch, but we're only going to reapply these specific changes. So now we have a merge request for the release branch. And just like before, you can review, you can see the six files that were changed. Again, it's just those six, it's not the other three. We can approve this and give the comment that explains what you're doing and why you're approving this. And then we can do the merge. Okay, we're going to squash the merge. We can also delete the branch. And that's it. Now we have in the release branch the changes applied over here for just that functionality that we want to release. Now, in order to release it, we would need to run the pipeline, but this time we want the pipeline to run on the release branch. Um, so we have the package job. What we're going to do is we're going to create a copy of it. So we're going to create a package for the release branch. And we're going to copy the existing job that does the regular package from the main branch. So we're creating a new job, copy, and same Git repository, but instead of using the main branch, we're going to use the release branch that we created. Save this, and now we have a build job that we can run to take the code from the release branch and package it so it would be ready for deployment. In order to deploy, you would want to then copy and create a new version or a new 
build job of the deploy job and picking up the changes from the package release job.